Okay, hey, it's David Startouch, and we're going to roll it. Uh, for those that are joining us right now, I just recorded an hour-long stream setting things up and completely messed stuff up. So that's kind of hilarious, but uh, also sad at the same time. What we have been doing, uh, what we, as in me, myself, and I have been doing, is I've been setting up these two joysticks. Now, I run Verbal's. And they're fantastic. At the same time, they are not the, uh, they're just different, basically. Uh, they're very expensive. Uh, these are the budget options I always recommend to people. This is the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro. This is the Thrustmaster 1600. I recommend the Logitech for the combat stick because it's got a few more buttons. Well, not it's probably the same buttons, but it's got a thumb option. So I use the secondary fire, and I'll go through these in a minute. Um, and you can set everything up just to have like a single combat stick really well with this. I think it's super intuitive. Uh, it's got a good good weight on it too. And let's see if I can uh, do I have this set up to do streaming in general. Okay, we'll come back to that. Where was the chat? There we go. So that's what I'm looking for. So these are these are really great. Uh, this I use as thrust, and that's because it's really easy to move this here again i really like for just the precision and i'm going to walk you through how to get all of these kind of set up here so let's uh i've already set them up and in well i'll just assume you can get them set up in windows if not uh if you get windows 11 uh all you have to do is go look for usb gaming devices and it will set you right up so let's get busy. Uh, okay, there we go. I had the sound going on. Echo, possibly. So let's get busy. Uh, this is my busy screen. And uh, we're going to go into open the options. And then we're going to go to key bindings. And we're going to go all the way down here, all the way down here uh, to this area, all the way to HOTAS, advanced. And this puts us where we want to be. So. First, you will probably want to go to, um, you're going to want to reset settings. So right here, you can see we've already got some settings, not a lot, but some. You could go through manually and erase all of them like that. But easiest way is to go to the controls, scroll to, uh, don't, you could reset defaults. And here's what's going to happen when you do that. It's going to say, oh, which ones do you want to reset? And we can reset to everything, or we can just do this here. So I'm going to scroll down to clear all device settings. Now, which ones do you want to clear? Now I'm going to just do here, and this is going to wipe everything. And if you list keyboard, it's going to mouse, it's gamepad, it's going to wipe all of those. Don't really want to do that. Now they're wiped. This is what they're assuming. So I set this up first as a Logitech solo stick. And we're going to just reset all of those. And then I'll walk you through my settings. So first off, button 11, let's go to busy mode so you can see everything. Button 11 is right here um, on the bottom. And set emergency exit to button 11 because we've also set thought key exit and turret remote exit to the same thing. Button 11 is the, oh, I'm stuck in my seat. Let's get out. I uh, don't bind eject. So I, I mean, you can set all of these other mining mode, scanning mode, quantum is the way you want, but I, this is just kind of how I did it. Uh, I set my missile mode to this button four. And this is basically for a single stick setup is what we're doing right now. Just a single stick. Cockpit, empty. You just, uh, so ignore cockpit. Vehicle view, empty, ignore vehicle view. Go to the movement, and this is where we're first starting. So pitch, y-axis, yaw. Um, yeah, so I've already set the turret. So, uh, so yaw, right, left, um, roll, that, strafe up, strafe down. That I use that for the hat switches. Button nine, coupled mode. Boost is button two. So coupled nine, uh, button mode, because these are all numbered, button mode is right here. 
And uh, then boost is I set for the thumb button because I'm doing movement things here. So button nine's on the side because I want decoupled to be something that's not easy to press. And uh, now speed limiter I set as an absolute for the throttle here because then I can just go down and switch it and I can use my keyboard as the forward back. And uh, I did this for the ground vehicle, the turret speed limiter and the mining for mining up and down. All great, very helpful. Reset to SEM, I set to the space brake. So space brake and is set to three, this thumb button here. And then boost is to the, this thumb button. So I can kind of just keep them real close together. Missile mode is, again is on the right side. So that's going to turn on missiles. And I set missiles to the trigger, and we'll get to that. Space break three. Cruise control. Very dangerous. I set it right here, because I'm going to want to manually just like, oh, okay, now cruise. I don't want to accidentally hit cruise. Uh, landing system and stuff I didn't do at all. Didn't mess with it. Uh, I'm just using this as a combat stick. I'm still going to use the keyboard for a lot of stuff with a single stick. Unlock target. Crazy important. I set it for the side here. And then I've got my lock to nearest target on the right there and uh, target cycling. So we've got cycle backward. I go left. And if I want to in the forward view, I'm going to do the hat. And then I'm also going to do reticle hat right one. And then hostels. That's my button six is top right closest hostel. So right, right, that's going to give me my targets. Left is going to disk, you know, turn off my unlock. That's pretty much it for the targeting. Super easy. Uh, mining, I set fire laser, switch laser by going up, and then mining power, again, as a slider. Activate the modules, left hat, down hat, right hat. Now, you're going to strafe possibly as you do that, but it's not too much of a problem. None of these overlap in a negative way. Turrets that exit or you know use the joystick exit is the 11. gyro stabilization i actually set for hat up that way in the turret i would or sorry turret stabilization gyro stabilization you can toggle and i decided i might want to do a missile mode because i can't put on missile mode so that's new speed limiter on or off that's button three space break and then for speed limiter in the turret, I use again the slider. Uh, cycling uh, staggered, I believe. Did I set that to anything? Yeah, um, I, I didn't do that. You can just set it manually in the thing. Button one is I set fire groups for the vehicles to button one and button two. Now, if you want, or button one, you could set it to hat up. And you would, yeah, that would be good. You're not going to have any conflicts there. And uh, if you are using two sticks, then you would probably do this as fire, number two. All right. Um, now, gimbaled, use G. Just switch that way. Uh, don't really worry about the other. And you're using keyboard for those anyway. Missiles. Use the same fire for missiles. Then cycling, I do right to cycle the type of missile left or the type yeah left and right for type and then up and down or up for increased missiles and down i do for reset all right uh countermeasures i like to have them on my front here uh, so index is the burst and the other one my middle finger is the deploy chafe i don't have as many of them so i want my index to have access very helpful is power distribution. Set it for right hat uh, for weapons, left hat for shields, bottom for reset, or bottom for, what was that again? Uh, down hat is engines, left hat is max. Button three, space break, is reset. So, sorry, uh, left hat is shields max, right hat weapons down uh, is engines because up I had set for fire. But if you're not using that, you could set it for reset or something else or thrust, whatever you want. Flight power, don't touch it at all. Use your keyboard. Uh, lights, I set it for button 10 in the middle here. Don't need to set it, but it's kind of fun. Don't do anything in foot or EVA right now. Just keep it simple. Camera view, I set it for hat up. That way I can 
kind of cycle through things uh, via the weapon group again, button one, button two, or just make them the same. I didn't do anything else there. And then we've got the moot drive forward and backward. Well, I use that for slider again, thrust instead of SEM, I use this as thrust. Uh, looking left, going that way, it's, uh, let's see, is that right? Yeah, looking left, I did that. So I'd set the slider and then go left and right. You alternatively, you can go like that too, um, but I didn't want to mess with that as much. Fire, secondary fire, same thing. Break, space break, right there. And boost is the thumb button again. We'll show the difference of the... Uh, what the throttle is, and that will be like the second part two of the video if you're doing dual HOTAS. Uh, okay, so we're moving, or er, HOSAS, and that's it, that's all I did. I'm not gonna mess with anything else here. So now let's load, that was the solo stick. Now let's load the thrust and logic. And I'm just gonna reset all of these joysticks again. And I will make these available on the website of Survivor to Hero, so you can download them if you want to, since I've kind of gone over them. But this is also, you can just kind of set your own and get the idea of how it works and which ones to set first. Again, vehicle operator mode, didn't change a thing, exit. We're now using Thrustmaster as the thruster and this as the combat stick. So exit is still 11 and missile mode still four. Didn't change those at all. What I am changing is going to be mainly under movement. So your uh, combat, you know, yaw, pitch, that stays the same. Your roll stays the same. But my strafe now is is moved. My strafe is on the Thrustmaster. And um, my strafe down and left and right is on the Thrustmaster. So I can also make strafe up and strafe down as E-access. Can be helpful. You don't have to do it. Though, what you can do though is now, this is super cool, throttle forward is going to be, hold on, before you jump there, uh, I want throttle forward and back to be this axis. That's kind of intuitive. I want strafe left and right to be this axis. And then I can have strafe up and down be the wrist one. Now, this is a kind of a cool thing. Throttle forward, if you had a, like a separate throttle, you could do this. I'm going to set it for the slider here on the back. And here's what I'm going to do that. That, instead of here, I want the slider to be on forward, and then I want this invert straight forward, button seven. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna hit it right here on the front here, and this inverts it. So I go forward, I wanna go backward full speed. Good, I wanna go backward half speed. So now I'm back, reverse, now forward, reverse, forward. And then I can adjust my speed here. This basically turns this into a cruise control. You can go all the way forward, SEM all the way forward, because I'm leaving this as SEM, then drop my SEM down or drop my throttle down. I don't have to use SEM, right? It's just like pushing this all the way and then adjusting how I want it to go. So you can just kind of set this to where you would want it to be. That's your cruise control. And then you want to go in reverse. You can reverse control cruise control. It's super, super cool. All right, so I just learned about that one. I did it on my, my main throttle for my vehicles. And then you can have two form of throttles. Decoupled mode. I moved decoupled mode from here over to here, and I put it on the pinky because I want to be able to, or wait, no. I put it on the top pinky because I want to be able to get access to it pretty easy, but know where it is. Boost is now trigger for this, uh, for the throttle. And then my speed limiter increase, I made actually a manual press here. You don't have to do this because you can always use something else. But I I wanted my increases here instead of having to use the mouse to scroll up and down. It might be too slow. I'm not sure. Um, that's where having your relative speed limiter, or sorry, your absolute slider over here is a little easier because then you can come down and just kind of pop it where you want and then go into battle. Uh, yep, we'll have that be. Our boost is there, speed and letter there. Okay, space break is set. And then button two. Oh, space break, I set for reset to SEM. It's a space break, makes sense to me. Okay, just tap the break, reset SEM. Again, button two, same thing. 
Um, not going to mess with accelerator. Uh, that turns your thrusters up and down and it can be a big mess. But we now have throttle here, or sorry, landing on because we have a throttle. So what I did is cruise control is still super dangerous. We'll get to that. Landing. Uh, turn on la landing gear. That's my closest. <clears throat> uh, VTOL I put in the middle. And on the very bottom here, I'm going to set for the uh, signal ATC for landing. But until then, auto land goes right on top of landing gear. So what is cruise control? Well, cruise control I'm going to set on this side. All right, that's camera view. Uh, I'm going to set right below the thing here because I don't want it cruise control to actually be a button that I need to do when I can just use these. But I can always go like cruise control and then I'm going. And uh, that way it's easy. Alternatively, you can still go leave it here and just drop down and smack it next to exit. So, And then you can also open up some of these to your quantum and things like that. But basically, we're mostly done now. And uh, we because we set everything up ahead of time, our target lock unlock stays the same. Our targeting, uh, this is, now we free up the hat switch for targeting a little bit. Uh, left, well, no, actually, that stays the same. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, we changed one of these. Let's see. Oh, it was vehicles, possibly two. Increase ping. Uh, I actually just set it to the strafe. So right hat increases the ping angle for radar. Left hat, button three is that one. Yeah, button three was decrease. Uh, the or button three is ping. So decrease your SEM. I figured it couldn't hurt. Slow us down. Scanning, uh, to activate scanning or to scan, I used the X button. But now we actually, so again, because I want to be still usually when I'm scanning. But now we have this option up here to turn on scanning mode. So what I want to do for scanning mode is I'll probably set it for one of these buttons here. And there's a middle one here that I like. And then there's a mining mode toggle. I'll turn that on the very right. So right, I've got mining, I've got uh, scanning, and then I've got cruise control. Alternatively, I could also do quantum travel or something like that. Okay, and I think uh, that's just about it, except for uh, mining lasers will stay the same. Vehicle movements, I believe, are what shifted. Yes. So um, I left all of those great things the same. And then we just got, I changed vehicle movements to forward on here on the, the, the combat stick. Now, forward and backward are now on the right, uh, the, the thrust stick. And so I can turn forward, backward on here while uh, doing this left right thing all right so that turns and then if i use the wrist i can look left look right which is helpful so this turns vehicle pitch up and pitch down that would be this one and uh ground vehicle look up and look down hmm probably want to undo that one. i took that one here so Ground vehicle, look up, look down. I do not need. Oh, actually. Did I just overdo that again? All right, there we go. So I've got my thrust, look up, look down. And um, oh, that's, yeah. Am I using my Z-axis now? Because uh, that actually would make my look up, look down work. Okay, I don't need to get too hung up on that. I set the primary fires because now I can have button one, button two without any issues. My brake is the same uh, right there. And it's going to drive me crazy. Uh, so instead of SEM, dynamic zoom in and out, I did right here, speed limiter because I can always reset the speed limiter by pressing space brake. So uh, 
anyway, I think that's about it. I don't know where the look off like down went. Turn left. Oh yeah, I did the pitch. And then look off, look down would be on the right. Right? Yeah, that's roll. So look left, right, look up, down. Anyway, I think this is a really good setup. I hope you uh, found this helpful <laughs> this time. And uh, I probably should have been paying attention to chat a little more because the first time it didn't work. But thank you so much for uh, coming. This is David Startouch, and I hope this little tutorial was helpful. I will say this is 70 or 80 bucks. This is 30 bucks combined, you know, uh, 100 and something. This, you can get two of these and they're ambidextrous, which is why I chose this. This is, I configured to the left hand and it comes in right. This is right hand only. But if you want to get two of these cheaper ones, $60, uh, 80 if you get it on a horrible deal. I got it at Best Buy, but then you can use your thing here. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, so boost is for me that one. Enter, and anyway, that's it. I will post these on the website as soon as I get them, uh, get the website redone, and I will wish you a beautiful day.